Hey, this is Don from the Toad Channel. Thanks for watching. Today I'm going to talk to you about a piggyback that we recently towed. Well, not me, Mike. Mike got called out the other morning, about 3 o'clock in the morning, to go tow a uh, road tractor that had stalled because of some kind of mechanical issue. I'm not really sure what it was. And that road tractor was uh, transporting three other road tractors, brand new road tractors, and we had to tow the whole in tandem. It wasn't fun. Well, I didn't have to do it. Mike says it wasn't fun. So let's take a look at it. As you can see in this rainy shot, there is a little pivot left and right and up and down as he goes through that dip, allowing the whole rig to move just enough. The trucks in transit are attached to the trucks beneath them with two large steel brackets, long U-bolts, and some wooden blocks. The bracket on the lower truck is attached to the frame rails, while the bracket on the upper truck is attached to the leaf springs and the axle. They are connected with a steel pin and thumb-like screw bolts in the middle to a somewhat loose-fitting connection that allows for a little side-to-side -side movement and up-and-down movement as the lower truck turns and encounters in the road surface. The front rear axle was chained up on each truck so that the tires wouldn't come in into contact with the road and we ran a line for lights to the rear of the truck. These were all-wheel drive road tractors which required the use of the dreaded bus arms. Dreaded because they're really heavy, hard to lift and put on when you need them. None of our axle forks would work and using spring shackles wouldn't work either because of the obstructions. It didn't really bog down our tandem axle so much because of how the weight was distributed, but turning was a chore. Thanks for watching the Toe Channel. I really hope you enjoyed this one and we'll see you next time.